how to tie a four in hand knot. Pretty cool, huh? The foreign hand knot, you can tell because it's kind of long shaped and asymmetrical. It's pretty common. It's one of the most common knots. It's, I, I do it often enough. I usually tie the Pratt when I'm not tying one, one of my weird knots, but this is a foreign hand tutorial. The reason I tied it so weird is because there's about a billion foreign hand tutorials out there because it's such a common knot. You don't need my help to tie that one. And if you need help tying it, find a video. You know, it's, I, I'm not gonna get any views if I make one anyway. But I will teach you how to tie it real fast, like this. So let's do it. Take your tie and get the little end right where the loop is. See my loop? Put the little end about, about there. Then you're going to have it in my right hand. Then you grab the big end with your hand, and then you pull it over like that. Now there's the hard part. You've got to make a loop. So get your hands like this. This is like that. Grab the big end, and then you're making a loop. So. This is kind of hard to comprehend when watching a video, but you'll kind of get it. I mean, just try it. You know, watch what I do and just try to figure it out. Then when you have this, put this in the back end. You're going to just, see this is the seam right here? There's a seam. So you're going to put that on your neck like a regular tie. Then you're going to take a little end and put it through both of these loops. Usually I just put it in my fingers right here, and then I just use this hand to pull it through. You're going to give it a tug, and then hold it tight, and then tighten this one. And there it is. Get a nice little foreign hand going. This kind of got a little gunked up because I tugged too hard. It takes a while to practice, but you can adjust it afterwards. And the length ends up being just perfect. And it's just a foreign hand. It's pretty cool. It's a cool, if anything, it's a cool party trick to know how to tie a tie that way. Let's do it again. Here we go. To the loop. I'm grabbing it. See, I'm moving this. I'm moving this one out of the way. I mean, I don't need to move it. I just do it. But if you're just coming in through this way, I'm grabbing this. Going around the top. Loop time. I'm grabbing it. Looping it around, and then putting it on my fingers. And then placing it. This this pulling part takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get it. It starts. It starts feeling pretty good. There it is. It takes like six seconds to tie it this way. And the best part about this, I mean, it doesn't take me that much longer to tie it normally. The best part about this is you get your length right almost every time. Like, if you put it where the loop is and you do all the motions, you'll get the length perfect. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.